and Arian here from seeyousoon.ca and in this video series I'm partnering up with Ontario Southwest Tourism to show you some of the best small town getaways this region has to offer. This week we're exploring the north shores of Lake Erie visiting the town of Port Burwell. Located about an hour southeast of London, Ontario, Port Burwell was once a busy harbour town known for its shipbuilding, fisheries, exports of lumber and the entry point for coal shipped across Lake Erie from Pennsylvania. Today, Port Burrell is a hidden gem in Algon County and has become a frequented destination for beachgoers and adventurers during the peak summer months. The town is completely walkable and only has a permanent population of about a thousand people. But with attractions like a Cold War submarine, a historic lighthouse and a blue flag beach, Port Burrell makes for a relaxing and enjoyable weekend getaway. All right, well, let's get your weekend started off here in Port Burwell by visiting its most iconic landmark, the Lighthouse. Originally built in 1840, the Port Burwell Lighthouse was used to help in the navigation and commercial shipping of local timber on Lake Erie. Standing 13.7 meters high on top of a hilltop, its light was visible for 19 kilometers. It is the oldest wooden lighthouse on the Canadian shores of Lake Erie and one of the oldest surviving lighthouses in Canada. In 1962, it closed and was left vacant for two decades. Years of neglect led to deterioration and the prospect of tearing it down. But in 1986, the lighthouse was instead reconstructed. Some of the original timber and many of the same original tools were used to rebuild the lighthouse. And today, visitors can climb to the top and admire 360 degree views of the area. After visiting the historic lighthouse, make your way across the street to the Marine Museum. Showcasing the rich marine history of the area, the museum houses one of the largest collection of lighthouse lenses on the Great Lakes. There are also intricately detailed model ships, artifacts recovered from Lake Erie shipwrecks, a huge assortment of tools, harbour photographs and local historic artifacts dating back to the 19th century. For lunch, head back across the street to Aunt Tammy's Off the Hook restaurant. Known for their pizzas and fish and chips, this family-friendly restaurant offers classic Canadian cuisine in a casual setting. It's a popular spot in the summer months and oftentimes you can even enjoy live music on the weekends out on the patio. After lunch, it's time to get active, so head to Otter Be Here for some paddling. Run by Jan and Jack, Otter Be Here offers canoe and kayak rentals, plus drop-off and pickup service along a 30-kilometer stretch of the Big Otter Creek. Starting just south of Heritage Line in Richmond and stretching all the way down to the mouth of Lake Erie, paddlers can enjoy a quiet and tranquil experience. Thick tree coverage spans either side of the river, and the sandy bottom means there's no risk of hitting any rocks. As you weave your way down the river, you'll feel like you're far removed from the nearby towns. Occasionally, you'll spot various wildlife and pass under bridges, but for the most part, it's just you, your kayak, and the surrounding nature. For accommodation, spend the night at Grey Gables B&B. Owned and operated by Jim, a longtime Port Borough resident, this heritage home is within walking distance of all the major spots in town. There are six rooms equipped with queen beds, ensuite washrooms, air conditioning, and fireplaces. All the rooms are located in an addition that Jim built himself, which won an Architectural Conservancy of Ontario Award for renovating a building in a matter which enhances its original historic architectural style. After settling in to Grey Gables B&B, head to Izzy Schooners for dinner. Specializing in seafood, this family-friendly restaurant is a favorite amongst locals and visitors. The menu offers up local fish, wraps, sandwiches and burgers, including the impressive King Grilled Cheese Burger. They use 100% natural and locally sourced meat, plus their veggies are always fresh and local when in season. It's day two here in Port Borough and there's a lot on the agenda for today starting with a visit to the HMCS Ojibwe. Stretching 90 meters long and sitting five stories high, this Oberon class submarine served in the Royal Canadian Navy and Canadian Forces Maritime Command. 
Named in honor of one of Canada's largest groups of Indigenous peoples, the HMCS Ojibwe was in operation between 1965 till it was decommissioned in 1998. It carried out top secret missions during the Cold War, many of which can't be shared to this day. Visitors can take a guided tour of the submarine and learn about the crew that called this place home, what life was like aboard the submarine, and even what it took to get the submarine from Nova Scotia to Port Burrell. It's one of the most unique attractions you'll find in Southern Ontario and gives you a glimpse into Canadian naval history. For lunch, head one block over to Simply Scoop's Ice Cream Shop. Serving customers since 1995, this local treasure offers up burgers and fresh cut fries using ingredients sourced as locally as possible. Make sure to leave room for dessert though, because what Simply Scoops is best known for is of course, the ice cream. There are 48 flavors of hard ice cream and 24 flavors of soft ice cream to choose from, plus frozen yogurt, sundaes, and milkshakes. Now, if you're having a hard time choosing what to get, then indulge in an ice cream flight, which gives you four flavors to enjoy. And lastly, head to the beach before wrapping up your time in Port Burrell. A very popular destination in the summer months, the Port Burrell East Beach draws visitors from near and far. It's designated a Blue Flag Beach, an internationally recognized distinction, indicating that the beach is clean, is managed sustainably, meets safety and accessibility requirements, and has excellent water quality. So, soak up some rays, enjoy the water, and start planning your return visit. Well, that's all the time that I have here in Port Burwell. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.